This video is client injury. I actually have my <laughs> client, so excited about it. So I have just explained to my lovely client that I, um, unfortunately, there's a slight boo-boo near her eyebrow, and then I'm gonna be right back and we're gonna take care of it. So I'm coming over to the uh, sink and I'm gonna wash my hands, first step. Now I'm at my first aid station, and I'm going to take a single-use antibiotic ointment, so pretend like that's a single-use. I am also going to take a single-use uh, bandage to apply, and I'm actually gonna check right here to see if I have um, a smaller bandage in my um, band-aid case. About that. I do have a smaller bandage, so I am going to use that instead. So I'm going to go back to my client. It wasn't on her hand, so I'm going to be offering assistance. And what I'm going to do first is use my antibiotic um, ointment um, single use. So I would tear it open, and then I would be utilizing it on my client. Hopefully you can see that. Let me move this. See this. And we're going to throw it away. And then now I'm going to be using a single and hold the phone. We're going to pause right there because I did some, didn't do something right. Before I go back to my client with these things for my first aid kit, I must apply gloves. So let's pause, reboot, rewind, and put some gloves on. Correction. Gloves first. First aid kit without gloves. Gloves before you go back to the client. single-use antibiotic. Now we're going to go see our client because it wasn't on the hand. Otherwise, I would have led her to the sink and we would have washed the hand and then she could have done the application part herself. 
So I'm offered an assistant, so I'm assisting and I'm assisting with gloves on. Tossing my single use um, antibiotic ointment packet. And then I'm gonna be using a smaller bandage. And she's good as new. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to remove the soiled implements and we're going to bring them over to the cleaning station while she's resting for a minute and we're going to take care of our implements. So that being said, um, the first thing we want to do is grab some cleanser, first step in um, infection control, and we're going to read the back of the manufacturer's directions and it, I know what to do, we're going to wash them. So we're going to turn it on and we're going to wash this scarf. First step is done, so the next step is we're going to put our implements into a dry container and we are going to um, go to the next level in infection control. So I'm going to take my glasses off, put my goggles on. I already have my gloves on. So I need um, something that's stronger. I'm going to use a barbicide, but you can use any um, of these. You just have to follow the manufacturer's instructions. Um, it needs to be rust, um, anti-rust on the back, and it needs to have an EPA number to make sure that it's authentic. And for barbicide, the instructions are for every 32 ounces of water, you use two ounces of barbicide. Love you. You have a good time. Okay. I will. And so we're going to take 16 ounces of water. And we're going to put it in our container. And then, so we need one ounce of barbicide. This is two ounces, so it's going to be half this. And you just pour, simply pour it in. You don't have to mix it up. I'll let you see that is in there. And then seal it up. And we're going to set our 10 minute timer. timer is on and we would um, we're gonna finish our implement so we're gonna pretend like 10 minutes has gone by beep 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 and we're gonna turn on super hot water and we're going to rinse our implements with super hot water
So our implements are taken care of. We need to seal them up in their nice dry container. And we need to put them somewhere. They will not be compromised. So we're gonna put them in a nice safe place. And then we have to clean our and sanitize our station while we're still protected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get two barbicide wipes. These aren't actual barbicide wipes, but we're gonna pretend like they are. And we're gonna go back to the client in the station and we're gonna clean there. We're gonna do one and then two minutes and then the other one. So we're just gonna, you're gonna see us go one and two, but really I'm gonna be doing one, two minutes and the other one in, um, at work and in service. Let's see me really clean this area really nicely. All around with number one. Oh my, yeah, we're gonna clean it all. Why not, right? And then we're gonna repeat with, and that's going in the trash. Now we're gonna wait two minutes, bing, and then we're gonna go number two. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get super, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to turn that light off. Super duper de duper de duper de duper de, like the cleanest thing you've ever seen. Goodness gracious, all over the same places. Yes, yes, yes. We're so happy with a clean station, aren't we? Oh my goodness, yes. She's happy, we're happy, we're all happy. Look, I'm getting to clean my house at the same time I make videos, yay. And those go into the trash, as well as gloves. At this point, the goggles can come off too because we're done with the barbicide or any of the other chemicals. And before I go back to service, I have to wash my hands. And one other thing as well. So we're gonna wash hands. And then once my hands are dry here, I'm gonna take a set of gloves on. back to my client for service. So that is the conclusion of um, client injury.